Kosick and I'm the project manager for History on Wheels. My name is Mark McNeese. I'm the program coordinator for History on Wheels. We're going to tell you a little bit about automotive history and show you a really neat part of our exhibit. But first, we're going to eat these habanero peppers. Take it away, Mark. Well, uh, History on Wheels is a traveling exhibit. It's our goal to travel around the state and visit festivals and fairs throughout Indiana and bring history to people that might not make it up to our place here in Indianapolis. So, History on Wheels is a large, what is it, 53 foot? It's a 53 foot double expandable trailer. Almost a thousand square feet of space inside. Many monitors, touchscreen, interactive maps, and a lot of interesting stories. I'm going to tell you just a couple. Uh, the first is Elwood Haynes. Uh, he just so happens to have been born in my hometown of Portland, Indiana. And uh, back in 1894, he invented one of the very first ever gasoline-powered cars. They called them horseless carriages. And he drove it in Kokomo on the 4th of July, 1894, <coughs> on a pumpkin-vine pike. Uh, he went on to be one of the very first car manufacturers in the state. Mm. <laughs> so, the second story is fascinating too. It's, uh, his name is Ralph Teeter. He invented cruise control. Uh, he called it the Speedo Stat. My eyes are watering. <laughs> he was actually, um, he was kind of annoyed by the varying speeds of different drivers. Pretty fascinating. I guess like Kurt said, it was uh, being blind, he could more clearly sense the speeding up and slowing down of cars, which would waste gas as well. So uh, he invented the Speedostat. Chrysler was the uh, first manufacturer to put that in, I want to say it was in 1958. Kurt? All right, and I'm going to show you a really neat part of our exhibit, uh, the Engine Marmon Interactive. All right, uh, here I am at the Engine Marmon Interactive. What we did here is we used an old magazine advertisement from 1914 and wanted to include an automotive technology piece. Anything in orange you can interact with, just like I interacted with that habanero pepper. You can hop around, play with the spark plugs, play with the distributor cap, getting the car to backfire. You can even rev up the engine to getting the car to go fast. And the car shakes and whirs and comes alive as you interact with it. Marmon was one of the first major car companies in Indianapolis. That's all I have to say. I need some milk. That is horrible. That is so horrible. 